I do not think there is any thrill that can go through the human heart like that felt by the inventor as he sees some creation of the brain unfolding to success. Such emotions make a man forget food, sleep, friends, love, everything. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. As in nature, all is ebb and tide. All is wave motion. So it seems that in all branches of industry, alternating currents, electric wave motion will have the sway. Let the future tell the truth and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs. The future for which I have really worked is mine. The human being is a self-propelled automaton entirely under the control of external influences. Willful and predetermined though they appear, his actions are governed not from within, but from without. He is like a float tossed about by the waves of a turbulent sea. I do not think you can name many great inventions that have been made by married men. My brain is only a receiver. In the universe, there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength, and inspiration. I have not penetrated into the secrets of this core, but I know that it exists. Be alone. That is the secret of invention. Be alone. That is when ideas are born. My method is different. I do not rush into actual work. When I get an idea, I start at once building it up in my imagination. I change the construction, make improvements, and operate the device entirely in my mind. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. The spread of civilization may be likened to a fire. First, a feeble spark. Next, a flickering flame. Then, a mighty blaze, ever increasing in speed and power. Our virtues and our feelings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. Life is, and will ever remain, an equation incapable of solution. But it contains certain known factors. All that was great in the past was ridiculed, condemned, combated, suppressed, only to emerge all the more powerfully, all the more triumphantly from the struggle. Invention is the most important product of man's creative brain. 
The ultimate purpose is the complete mastery of mind over the material world, the harnessing of human nature to human needs. Most persons are so absorbed in the contemplation of the outside world that they are wholly oblivious to what is passing on within themselves. What we now want most is closer contact and better understanding between individuals and communities all over the earth and the elimination of that fanatic devotion to exalted ideals of national egoism and pride, which is always prone to plunge the world into primeval barbarism and strife. Marconi is a good fellow. Let him continue. He is using 17 of my patents. So astounding are the facts in this connection that it would seem as though the Creator himself had electrically designed this planet. If you only knew the magnificence of the three, six, and nine, then you would have a key to the universe. Instinct is something which transcends knowledge. We have undoubtedly certain finer fibers that enable us to perceive truth when logical deduction or any other willful effort of the brain is futile. <laughs> 